the oceans are filled with many fascinating and terrifying predators, many of which are regarded as some of the most infamous predators on Earth. But in this large catalogue of apex predators, there is one group that often goes underappreciated, these animals being tuna, in particular the Atlantic bluefin, which can reach lengths of 2.5 metres on average, and near 4 metres in the largest of specimens. For over 50 million years, tuna have evolved some extreme physiological and behavioural adaptations to enable them to be effective predators. Everything about tuna has evolved for maximum athletic performance, and even among tunas, the Atlantic bluefin stands out, with all of its organ systems having evolved to enable this fish to be a truly remarkable, swift-moving, high-seas predator. The body shape of these fish resembles a teardrop, which is the most hydrodynamic shape possible for fish which given that water is around 800 times thicker than air, possessing this streamlined shape is key in making Atlantic bluefins move through the water. The tail of the tuna is the primary force behind the bluefin's movement, and is stiff, narrow-bladed and swept back, a form referred to as lunate. The horizontal keels on the caudal peduncle allow the tail to cut through water as it swings from side to side, reducing water resistance and thus the efforts needed to beat the tail. As well as this, the yellow finlets that extend from the tail cut down on turbulence by altering the water flow across their surface. To further streamline the body and making the swimming more economical, most of the fins on these animals are retractable, with the wing-like pectoral fins being able to slot neatly into shallow depressions on the flanks keeping these vital organs out of the way during high-speed attacks, although they can unfold when needed for tight turns or complex manoeuvres for better mobility. As well as the remarkable exterior of the fish, the internal physiology is just as powerfully built and efficient, and this physiology is the prime reason as to why these fish are such efficient predators. Red muscle makes up a significant part of a tuna's musculature, a much greater percentage than compared to other fish. This muscle is utilised for sustained activity for long periods of time, and in terms of migration, allow the fish to be able to swim more than 16,000 kilometres from California to Japan, and back to California, all within a period of five months. The white muscle that is present is utilised for short bursts of intense short-term activity, allowing tuna to reach speeds of 70 kilometres per hour to catch their fast and manoeuvrable prey. Because of their high energy expenditure, bluefin need to swim constantly to fuel their bodies, and in effect, have the largest area for gas exchange found in any gill-breathing fish. Tuna blood contains triple the concentration of haemoglobin compared to other fish, and their hearts are proportionally larger, allowing them to dive to depths of 500 metres to chase down prey. Even with all these remarkable adaptations, the most extreme adaptation that bluefins possess is what really makes them stand out. While not truly exothermic, all tuna are able to raise and maintain their body temperature. These predators are capable of keeping their body temperature between 25 and 35 degrees in the frigid waters of the North Atlantic, keeping their temperature just above the mean temperature of the areas they swim in. Bluefins are even so hot-blooded to the point that when forced to exert themselves for hours at a time, such as being hooked on a line, they can cook themselves to death, a phenomenon known as burn by fishermen. The way tuna can regulate their temperature is through a specialised counter-current heat exchange system called the Reet Mirabil, which prevents metabolic heat from escaping into surrounding water. The heat lost from the blood leaving the musculature is reabsorbed by chilled, oxygenated blood coming from the gills. This enables the bluefin to keep their brain, eyes, spinal cord and muscles running at high temperatures constantly. It also allows for faster digestion, enabling the bluefin to more efficiently process and store the calories gained by eating, and to then be able to eat after a short amount of time. These adaptations make these fish superb predators, perfectly adapted for out-swimming, out-lasting and out-diving their prey and other fish. These fish prefer the edges of coastal waters, where upwellings influenced by the unique currents allow for large plankton blooms, therefore attracting the fish that these fish feed on, which is why, unusually among tuna, bluefins will often venture inshore to hunt, bringing them in close contact with humans. Unfortunately for these majestic predators, their large size coupled with their huge sources of meat is very appealing to fisheries, and as such, these animals have been dramatically overfished since the 1970s commercial demand soared worldwide. 
particularly in Japan, with the overall population estimated to have been halved since fishing rates increased. As a result, bluefin stocks, especially the large breeding adults, have plummeted. Coupled with this, increased temperatures brought on by anthropogenic climate change has resulted in a decline of marine phytoplankton, leading to less food overall for the fish. Such an ecologically important and charismatic predator should really be appreciated more than what they currently are, and that they are far more than recreational toys, so that in the future, these animals are still able to be admired years down the line. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.